And this is the Big Ten on ABC. On an unusually warm night in the capital city of Nebraska, the temperature near 80 degrees. It got up into the high 80s here today. And this crowd is ready. We see Jay Stroud of Ohio State more total yards per game. In the Big Ten, then Martinez. They set up a screen. And a lot of running room for the running back, Ramir Johnson, untouched along the sideline into Wolverine territory and down at the 39-yard line. Run down by Nakai Hill Green, a linebacker. That's one-on-one -on -one matchup as well. Third and six, and they try to run for it. And Christopher Hinton says, you will not drop the play right at the line of scrimmage. Last week at Wisconsin. Nebraska's 9 out of 13 for the year. They're throwing a deep ball to an open receiver, and it's caught. Floated through the air, but still made it to Omar Manning. They convert on fourth and six. Johnson doesn't get much. Been through a lot of ups and downs here at a prolific freshman year, then some rough times. He turns the corner. Martinez runs out of bounds short of the first down. Travis Volkolik and Austin Allen. Martinez keeps, and he got stood up right at the line of scrimmage. So here's another fourth down. Fourth down again. As you said this morning, you thought both teams would regularly tonight. Design run for Adrian Martinez. He's in trouble and stopped. Big defensive play by Brad Hawkins, the veteran safety from Camden, New Jersey. In the ball game in the second half that Nebraska had completely dominated. Michigan State had 14 yards of offense in the second half and still won. Martinez into a crowd, oh and goodness. it is an intercepted. It was batted up in the air by Daxton Hill. The Wolverines think he caught it, and the officials agree. The throw was a little bit late and behind the intended receiver, Allen. Daxton Hill tipped it up to himself. What a play. Who started Oklahoma State. A great field position for Michigan from the Nebraska 35, and it's Hassan Haskins to the 30. You know, we mentioned this Michigan defense, why they've played so well. They have an elite player at each level of the defense. We've talked about Hutchison. We've talked about Josh Ross, and that was Dax Hill. He's in the secondary. Three outstanding players at each level of this Michigan defense. Mike McDonald, the, the defensive coordinator, has done Dax Hill can play either safety or corner in the NFL. Haskins rumbles for a first down to the 24-yard line. Corum and Haskins. Haskins doing the bulk of the work tonight. And he's to the 21. Here's Molly McGrath in Bradenton, Florida. Threat as a runner and a passer. Blake Corum. Third down and four. Haskins stopped to the line of scrimmage. Damian Daniels leading the way again. Fourth and three, he wants the lead, the first points of the game on a field goal by Jake Moody. And he gets it. 35 yard field goal, good for the senior Moody. He's now nine out of 10. Gee. I think I have one. Ramir Johnson straight ahead. Dabo Sweeney. He's like Nebraska and Michigan. Classics. Ramir Johnson again. It's running back by committee for the Cornhuskers this season. A little undersized, but a, a solid player. On third and three, they're trying to set up a screen, and it's very well covered by David Ajabo. They weren't fooled that time. They tried to screen it to Ramir Johnson. All four pounds and the sides. I guess that's not sad. It looked delicious. <laughs> Michigan. From its own 10, Blake Corum took the swing pass and went for eight, including proceeds from sales of burritos. Yep. I would guess the linemen eat there a lot. They they eat there a lot. Midway through the second quarter. Flag down. Both sides pointing at each other. Delay of game. Defense for using disconcerting signals. Disconcerting.
Hassan Haskins runs. Let's bring in Matt Austin. Three or four years ago, yes, you could have. Nowadays, that belongs to the offense. And Hassan Haskins ran for three. Here's the pass to Cornelius Johnson. Stopped short of the first down I'd, I'd by Quentin Newsom. Michigan leading three to nothing. Under six to go till halftime. Third down and less than a yard. Haskins flagged down. Damian Daniels, boy, is he getting penetration through that excellent offensive line for Michigan. Michigan sideline. You know what? He's he's letting the clock go. He wanted them to look and see if it was a bad spot on the on the third down play. I don't think he wanted to waste a timeout. Michigan calls their first timeout of the half. I think he wanted them to look at this play to see whether or not it was a bad spot. Calling the timeout and insisting that they take a look because they, th this is a first down. Well, there are two aspects to this. Further review, the Michigan ball carrier was down at the 46-yard line, and that is sufficient yardage for a first down. Now, I think Jim Harbaugh wants to know if he gets his timeout yeah, back, Matt. After that turnaround. It took a very long time, but it was pretty clear that the ball needed to be moved. McNamara play action as a man wide open. And a diving attempt made and the catch. What a grab by Mike Sandristow. If he didn't have to dive for it, it was a touchdown. But they'll settle for first and goal at the six-yard line. Sandristow in there because Roman Wilson not on the trip. Working on the safety, Deontay Williams. It was a double move. Sandristow is sixth catch of the year. Junior from Everett, Massachusetts. Play fake to Haskins. Into the end zone. Baldwin couldn't hang on. Broken up by Cam Taylor Britt in the back of the end zone. Haskins. Haskins down inside the one. Ball out at the end of the play. Here now they say a touchdown. After further review, the ball carrier was down short of the goal line at the one foot line. It seems that they are. Haskins in the air and into the end zone. No doubt that time it's a touchdown. The rule on the field is a touchdown. McNamara stumbling on the handoff. That could have been disastrous for so Coach Harbaugh. Taking the extra point. Review, the quarterback's knee was down before he handed it off. It'll be fourth down and goal at the three and a half yard line. Massive sequence of events. Moody for a 21 yard field goal. And it's 6-0 Michigan. They thought they were going to be up 10 to nothing. He had over 100 yards receiving, but got injured, missed the next four games. They got him back last week. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and Martin never saw the ball coming. And the Wolverines leading 6-0 on two field goals. Martinez in trouble, and Jabo there again. Reception. Against Wisconsin late in the game last week. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off. Blake Corum spins around, breaks free from two defenders, and picks up the first down. Finally planted by Deontay Williams. Six. Six nothing Michigan, a minute 13 to go in the half. McNamara over the middle again. Belted from behind was Corum. Heat a little bit here on their side of the 50. Second and three, Dalen Baldwin, nice catch. First down and out of bounds. Third down and ten. If they keep this two safety look, McNamara needs to look to the middle of the field. They try to surprise him with the run, and they do. Blake Corum inside the 20 and wow. thrown down near the 15. And the Nebraska 15. Pressure by Nelson. McNamara stepped away and throws it away. Flag down. The ten of her A.J. Henning. First and goal from the three. Haskins, that's clearly a touchdown this time. First of the game. And that was a huge call against Doman. It got Michigan down on the doorstep and Haskins. Left no doubt this time. Touchdown, Wolverines. Well, just great power blocking on the right side of the line. Andrew Stuber watched 71, the right tackle, just clear space for Haskins. Takes his man all the way into the center. And Moody 
Last the extra point right down the middle. Hassan Haskins, senior from St. Louis, former Missouri Class 6A Player of the Year. Stopped at the Michigan three-yard line when they went for it on fourth down and two. Decided not to kick the short field goal. On target, Ramir Johnson, nice hands catch it. It looks like he has a first down. And facing third down and 11. Hutchinson, immediately a menace. Good decision and a great run by Martinez. Across midfield into the 46-yard line of the Wolverines. 20-yard gain, 23 yards rushing now for the game for Adrian. Great fake, Austin Allen, wide open. He'll go all the way for a Nebraska touchdown. That one was huge for the Horn Huskers. 46 yards, 32 of them after the catch for the touchdown. The one down fast yes. as they've played <laughs> stiffer competition here the last three weeks. Eight minutes to go in the quarter. Open receiver and a first down to Cornelius Johnson. Had a lot of running room if he could have stayed inside the boundary, at least for this play. Blake Corum. Bang down as he crossed the 35-yard line with a gain of four. Cam Taylor Britton made the stop. And Billy Younger. Donovan Edwards, the freshman, highly recruited out of West Bloomfield, Michigan. Michigan led 13-0 at the half. It's 13-7 now. Haskins pulls his way to the first down. Looked like he'd be stuffed well short of it. Man, is he powerful at 6'1", 220. You don't turn it over, you don't allow sacks. That's a pretty successful formula. How about Haskins again? You're not going to tackle me. Still powering his way very close to another first down. Balanced approach tonight than at any point this season so far. And they've thrown more passes than they've had runs. 28 passes, 24 runs, 29 pass, complete to Baldwin. He appears to have another first down inside the Nebraska 40. School, two years at Morgan State, the last two at Jackson State. It's out of Southfield, Michigan. McNamara, Baldwin open again inside the 10 and down inside the five yard line, upended by Quentin Newsom, who prevented the touchdown. Play of the drive for Michigan. Trying to get back to a two score lead. Haskins right up the middle for another touchdown. His second of the night, eighth of the season in this, their sixth game. Well, the center, Andrew Vistardis, is the leader, the bell cow of that offensive line, and he just, man, he moved the pile. That was a big hole. Watch right here, watch number 68 just open things up. The right guard, who's the third right guard we've seen. Barnhart did his job as well. Trying to get ahead by 14 points. 3.36 to go in the third quarter. They try to pound it in with Haskins again. No. They throw it instead. And the ball off the hands of C.J. Cornelius Johnson. Some more targets. Martinez. 50 run looked like he was not going to get anywhere near the line to make but he got the first down with a yard to spare one years old from fresno california they run the option pitch it's to ray up the sideline across midfield and out of bounds at the michigan 48. off the play fake martinez the wheel route johnson to whom they faked it. Touchdown, Nebraska! Season for Ramir Johnson, his third overall touchdown, and Connor Culp adds the extra point. It is about as loud as it's been all night long. Big third down and 10. Over the middle, it's intercepted. Picked off by Deontay Williams. And he's down inside the 15. First career interception thrown by Cade McNamara. He's right here, inside on the slot. 
Little lob out to Levi Flock. Lots of room. Touchdown, Nebraska. They are very creative on offense. Martinez trying to run away from Hutchinson, trying to run into the end zone, and he did for two points. One of the wildest Saturdays that we can remember in college football, and that continues tonight. Blake Corm hasn't been very much involved in the run game. For both these teams. Corm again. Corum stayed on his feet to get the first down. Break at the end of the third quarter. Lights off. Phone lights on. Michigan fans dancing to the strains of Thunderstruck from ACDC. They really enjoyed last week at the end of the third yeah. quarter. Jumping around to jump around. McNamara over the middle. Good. Eric Hall, the tight end. First down and across midfield to the Nebraska 49 yard line to the Nebraska's touchdown Haskins like he got just enough Running very close to field goal range at the very least thrown out wide nice move by Knight Mike Sainra still and he was tackled by one play but I mean these are critical game in the balance situations it makes you have to respect the quarterback run which McNamara really does not. He gets thrown down out of bounds. Looks to be, well, the foot keeps moving by the official. Trouble with this arrangement. The great that the number two quarterback gets a lot of reps. Here's Corum. Corum with a burst of speed. Touchdown, Michigan. And the Wolverines go back on top. You know, Garrett Nelson, number 44, he gets kind of frozen here. He, he kind of gets flat-footed, he gets frozen. Good blocking on the perimeter by the tight ends and the wide receivers. When we talked to Eric Chenander, the defensive coordinator in Nebraska, one of the things he said... Physical offensive football team. When the wide receivers buy in, extra point good by Moody. Loss of one yard on the play. After the play fake. Martinez running away from the Jabo. Martinez near the line of scrimmage, throws a dunk that is caught. Oliver Martin in the Michigan territory. It was much better than it showed last year when they went two and four. They want to win a conference championship. Here's Ramir Johnson. Ramir Johnson weaving inside the 25 yard line. The run pass option here. Play clock at two. It is Martinez for the touchdown. Time to get their defenders on at the very end of the play clock. Extra point good by Connor Culp. Michigan responded on its last drive. Can the Wolverines do it again? They start with a run. Hassan Haskins. Another strong oh, run. The Nebraska offense is to prepare for. Haskins with lots of room. Haskins up wow. and over. Still going inside the 30 and tripped up from behind by Nick Henrich. One of the runs of the season in college football by Hassan Haskins. Well, again, I mean, just. An incredible play by Haskins. Great blocking at the point of attack. That takes you back to Jim Harbaugh's decision to go for two when he had a 12-point lead. McNamara over the middle. Can Eric Hall get there? Yes, he can. They have gone to the tight ends on third down. The same play, Sean. McNamara, career high. Corum. Inside the 10, Lake tackled by Nick Henrich. Come on the field, either to protect a tie or a lead. Seventh play of this drive, Haskins tackled from behind by JoJo Dolman for Michigan. Barnhart and Atterbury. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off, and Balin, uh, Dalen Baldwin cannot catch it. Would have been out of bounds even if he had. Robbins, the punter, is the holder. 
for the tie with 3.05 to go. Nice little baby draw. And we begin anew. Tied at 29 with exactly three minutes to go. Nothing close to what it's like, obviously, to lose your mom as a young child. Here Johnson didn't quite get there, and that sets up a very big third down and short with under two and a half to go. It's a full yard to go. And it's a design run for Martinez and a first down. And the ball is out, and apparently he had not been stopped. Brad Hawkins has it. And he returns it inside the 20-yard line. Well, Hawkins ripped it out and recovered it. Martinez was fighting for yardage, and he wouldn't. He didn't go down. And Brad Hawkins ripped the football out. Watch Brad Hawkins, number two, right there, come into the play. And as Martinez is fighting for yardage, Hawkins is going to rip it out and pick it up. I was just thinking both teams had one turnover. And in Adrian Martinez's case here, you just got to, all you have to do is take care of the football. Perhaps a run for him with Haskins on his left hip. It is a run for him, and he is dropped for a loss. The ball comes out, but he's rolled down. Luke Reimer with a huge play. That's going to make it a tougher field goal as well. As you just saw in the graphic a moment ago. 11 for 12 for the year. Only miss was from 47 against Rutgers. But that seven yard loss turned a 32 yard attempt into a 39 yarder. Again, no breeze from the left hash. That's where he made his last one. Rock solid again. Michigan leads by three with 124 to go. Portland is at left tackle after the injury. They've actually played good offense in this half without Teddy Prohaska. Martinez, open receiver. Samori Toure gets them a bunch on their first play of this possession right to the 50 yard line. 25 yard gain. Martinez rolls away from a Jabo, runs out of time, and that one looked like it had a better chance to be picked off than completed. Came to this country at age nine, second and ten, minute 12 to go. Dax Hill comes on a blitz, and the pass is too high. Levi Falk was open, cutting over the middle. Four man rush, it's a screen. Ramir Johnson, great play! It's Javon Green blasting him down at the line of scrimmage. They just need one block. I mean, the, the, the guard is there. Newilly is out there. He just can't get the block on Green. And this is the game right here. Scott Frost told him to hurry up, but you want to make sure you're ready to go. Here comes a blitz. Martinez throwing it deep and incomplete. Broken up by Dax Hill, and that should do it. Going to be an unsportsmanlike penalty on Dax Hill, a dead ball after the play. I don't think it's going to change the result of the fourth down fail. Scott Frost thought this was when the narrative would change, but unfortunately, it continues. Self inflicted wounds that turn out to be fatal over and over again. And the difficulty for Coach Frost is he knows. He has a good team, but yeah. they can't get out of their own way. Yeah, I mean, that is just agonizing. And, and for Adrian Martinez, I mean, we watched him turn the whole thing around in the second half, and then the only thing you can't do in that situation inside the final couple minutes is turn the ball over. And he did. And Michigan capitalized and is going to come away with a huge road victory back-to-back -back weeks and in the Big Ten. Credit. Jim Harbaugh, Brad Hawkins, the veteran graduate student safety, made the play. Yep. I mean, it was Martinez trying to continue to move forward with the ball, and Hawkins ripped it away and recovered it. And Michigan goes to 6-0. I mean, so many similarities. It's two programs led by great quarterbacks at the Realm of Modders now in Harbaugh and Frost each kind of taking longer to get to yep. where the fan base thought they would be 
with the successes that Harbaugh and Frost have had in their past. Michigan might be about to get back to that big national stage. Well, we've seen them three times, and this was the best I think they've looked. They threw the ball better. Their defense was solid. This was a very impressive win in a hostile environment against a good football team.